What's going on guys? I'm Jared Belfort from Mopar Insiders. Thanks for joining us today. We've got some exciting news about our Dodge Challenger 1320 order. Now, we announced back in February that we had ordered a Dodge Challenger 1320. Uh, that car was originally actually ordered in late January. Now, what happened is we ordered the car in Destroyer Gray with the Ruby Red interior, and the car hung in order limbo for a few weeks. Uh, our dealer reached out to their rep, and we found out that the problem was that they won't build the Challenger 1320 with the Ruby Red interior, even though they show that on Dodge's uh, website. So that is a build and price error on Dodge's part, which sucks because I was actually originally really looking forward to this car in Destroyer Gray with the Ruby Red interior. You know, that's kind of how I had it pictured in my head, but uh, it is what it is. So the rep changed the order to the black interior, and since we couldn't get the ruby red, I decided to switch the exterior color of the car to B5 blue. So after that, the order finally went through, stopped, uh, you know, hanging in order purgatory. So we talked to our dealer last Saturday, our good friends at White Rock Dodge, and I'm going to put a link uh, down below because if you live in Lower Mainland in British Columbia... They're definitely worth checking out. They're awesome guys to deal with. But regardless, we talked to our friends at White Rock Dodge and we found out the car is now D1 and which means it's scheduled to be built. The parts are already allocated for that car and it is actually apparently supposed to ship mid to late this month. Now, we know that the ship dates aren't always kind of exact and sometimes they pass by, but... It gives us an idea. Um, I believe that we're going to have the car in our hands by late May at the latest. Now, this car is going to be huge for both the website and the channel. It's going to be used as a long-term test car. So we can't wait to, you know, start writing some articles and stuff about that for you guys. It's going to spend a lot of time at the drag strip. Um, I've actually got about 10 years of drag racing experience under my belt, so I'm excited to get back onto the track, uh, especially with this car. Um, from what I'm seeing so far and from what I'm hearing, these cars seem to be overachievers and they're, they're very well balanced and excellent for the drag strip, so definitely excited about that. Now, we're also going to be using this to really kind of push the YouTube channel and everything. Now... Since we started Mopar Insiders less than a year ago, last month we actually hit over 1 million views for that month alone, which is huge. We're, you know, the quickest growing Mopar website in the world. Now what we have to do, what I want to do, is start focusing on the YouTube side of things and really starting to grow the channel. So you're going to see a lot more videos. We're going to try to get some more reviews done. Um, I've invested in a really good quality camera and a bunch of accessories and stuff to really kind of up the production quality for you guys. And a big part of that is going to be this 1320 is going to kind of become the star of uh, our YouTube channel. So you're going to see a lot of footage from it at the track. We also want to modify it and we're going to track everything every step of the way um, on video and on the website. So I hope you guys enjoyed the little update on our 1320. Stay tuned because things are about to get really exciting. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe. It actually, it really does help us out guys. So that would be awesome. And take care and we'll see you guys in the next video.